So first of all, here's the schematic of the very simple NE602 based 75 meter receiver uh, that I've built. And by the way, if you're accessing this video from YouTube and not from my blog, um, you should check out the blog post first um, because then it will explain what this video is all about. And uh, there's a link to the blog post in the description underneath the, the YouTube video. Um, so uh, this is the schematic and uh, you'll see here, um, here are the two 0.1 microfarad bypass capacitors that I'm talking about, circled in red. Also circled in blue is the 0.1 microfarad coupling capacitor. We're going to leave that in because obviously if we took that out, we wouldn't hear a thing because that's what couples audio from the output of the NE602 chip to the input of the LM3 86 AF amplifier chip. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, and actually what I did for this recording, is to remove both of those 0.1 microfarad bypass capacitors. And then what I did while I was listening, I did hear some breakthrough uh, from a nearby station, some, some RF breaking through. And then what I did was to replace one of the 0.1 microfarad bypass capacitors, the one closest to the NE602 chip, and I, I heard the breakthrough go away. And I, I think you will too when you hear this recording. We'll start the recording with the 0.1 microfarad bypass capacitor in. Hey, J6 DQR. W3DRM. Remove the capacitor while we hear more high frequencies. And yeah, then let's tune away. But listen, hear that breakthrough. You can still hear him in the background. Listen. And then put the capacitor back in, and that breakthrough goes away. Take it out. Hear the breakthrough again. Put it back in. Breakthrough goes away. Remove it, and straight away you hear that station again. Mm, time to put that capacitor back in, I think. And the breakthrough magically goes away. I KI6VH. Sounds good, doesn't it? KB7EKC. W6EKR, Aromas. W6EKR, good morning. Yeah, good evening there, uh, Walt. Thanks a lot for checking in and have a good weekend. You too, Ray, thank you. Notice how when I put that capacitor in, it also helps to shape the audio, cuts out some of the high frequency, it makes it much more pleasant to listen to. Let's take it out once more. Listen to the difference. Oh, and you can hear the breakthrough again. So, as well as cutting down on, on that breakthrough, it also shapes the audio and makes it much nicer to listen to. And although I didn't show you on this particular recording, when you add the other capacitor, the, the bypass capacitor from the pin of the uh, the input pin of the LM386 to ground, that actually has the effect of shaping the audio a little bit more and, and, and cutting down on even more of the high frequency hiss.